Well, I want to thank you for listening to the second major recording about the introduction to REI skills. It's got to do with options. Now, what's an option? Well, options were bred out of the IRS tax code regarding stock options. And if you, it's very easy to remember what is the IRS section, and it's one, two, three, four. And it basically says that you have a choice or a chance to buy something over a period of time at a certain price. And real estate is just that. It's an option to buy. You don't have to buy it. You can't be compelled to exercise your option. But it is a tool that's really, really helpful where you have an option to buy. And I'm going to be talking about options and lease options in this recording. In the previous recording, we talked about other ways to buy or control. Well, we're going to talk about controlling with options and uh, using lease options. So let's talk a little bit about lease options then options. Lease options are rent to own. And generally, what we do to make money is doing a lease with an option and then assigning the deal. We make 3 to 5% of the value of the property. And with properties that have very little equity, that's the smartest play right now. There's 20 million houses out there, and we teach people how to talk to the seller to be able to show them there's three choices. You can sell with an agent and pay the cost to sell, and that generally is anywhere from 11 to 15 percent. So uh, at the end of the day, um, that might be an option. You might have to raid um, an IRA or a 401k to do that, but, but you'll sell the house. You'll get it done. Another way is to rent it out and hold it for a while and see if appreciation can happen and you can pay down a little principal. That might be an option. Or you could do some kind of a lease to own where somebody would move into the house, they'd make a payment to you for a period of time, and then buy your house at new appraisal. And that might be more it might be worth more down the road. Would that be something you could think about or talk about? Or maybe not. So, you know, that's basically how we sell lease to own. And our job here is to make sure the seller understands that it takes two to three to four years for that buyer to get the mortgage. But they're going to get, they're going to pay 100 cents on the dollar. They're going to buy it at new appraisal. Um, so that's a lease with an option. So they rent it out and they have a separate option. It's very important that you have a separate option. The reason for the separate option is if you go to court, you can have a landlord-tenant relationship. You say, Mr. Mr. Uh, judge, you know, this tenant didn't pay his rent, so we need to evict him. And the, the uh, tenant's going to say, well, we have a rent-to-own arrangement. I put some money down on an option. I right, said, so that's a separate matter. We have a landlord-tenant relationship, and he did get a purchase option, but, you know, at the end of the day, he's, he's breached his lease. And that's why we have a separate option instead of a lease and an option together. So let's go over options. And options are most commonly used to tie something up for a period of time. And, um, you know, we use options in wholesaling. If you don't know what wholesaling is, it's where you're flipping a property. And basically you have, let's say, a $100,000 property. And you get a chance to buy it at $70,000 for a month. And then you try to flip that contract to a rehabber. So you get an option to purchase with a set price for a period of time. It's usually $10 for an option consideration fee. Now, here's a very, very fun way to use options. This is I use joint venture agreements with doctors. Now, I'll just talk to doctors and I'll basically say, Doc, look, if you got some lazy money around where you can put some money to work for three months and then get it all back plus a rate of return, would that be something you'd be interested in looking at? And even especially if you get a good rate of return where your analyzed rate is well over 20 to 30 percent. And a lot of times they go, yeah, sure. I said, let me tell you how it works. Let's say that I found a project, uh, a, a building, and then we could buy it really cheap and you'd we'd use all your money. So let's say it was worth 100000 after you do the rehab, but we could buy it for 50 and the rehab cost was 10 So the all all the costs are sixty thousand dollars then it costs ten percent to sell the house so then we got seventy into it and our net profits thirty 
and you take 15 and I take 15. I'll do all the work. I won't get paid until you sell it. And you make 15 for putting that 100 to work for three months. Now, what kind of rate of return annually is that for you? Well, that's 15 times 4, or 60%. That's pretty good. All right. Does that make sense? Annual rate of return. You know, so, so he's putting, you know, $60,000 out there. He's making 15000 rate of return. A lot of doctors would do that. Because they don't, they don't want to do the work. They just want to put the money up. They want to be a money partner or a credit partner. So anyway, that, that's basically how we use options. And, you know, I'll, I'll give him an option or I'll take an option to buy that property. I'm sorry, to buy the profit out of that joint venture for $1. And he'll own the whole thing. And I don't get paid until they resell it, after they do the work and resell it. So that's how to use options. We have a deep option course, and um, I want you to make sure that you listen to the buying video, and you also listen to the um, funding video. All right. So uh, this is Brian Gibbons with REI Skills. You know, my background, if you just Google me, REI Skills, Brian Gibbons, you will find over a thousand pages on the internet. It's an amazing number of pages. So I look forward to working with you as your coach and uh, having a discussion on the phone if you're really interested in having a one-on-one -on -one coach where you can make $100,000 working with houses that have no equity, working with houses that have a ton of equity, working with houses that are free and clear. And you need no banks and no credit. You have the worst credit in the world. All right, I want to thank you for listening to this particular recording on controlling with options. Bye for now.